What is happening guys? Welcome to the video. Currently driving through some construction and it's taking forever, but we are on our way to the gym. I just finished up with my morning clients. I want to apologize right now that the camera is shaky. Anyways, as I said, we are on our way to the gym. I just finished up with my morning clients. It is currently 1130 Friday, July 20, 20, no, not 20, July 6th today. It's July 6th. Um, it's a beautiful day, sun is shining. This week has been extremely hot. Um, it's been like 30 degrees Celsius plus humidity. So it's felt like 40 something, which is just stupid. Like it's stupid hot. And the gym that I work at, like it's nothing fancy. So we don't have air conditioning, great facility mind you, but we don't have air conditioning. So it's really freaking hot. And uh, like when I'm standing there and, and like spotting people and coaching people, <laughs> it's, uh, it's sweaty so we're gonna we're gonna get it done though anyways we are heading to the gym to hit some legs today i've got my pre-workout in my system the blue star ppk the stuff you know i love and uh yeah we're gonna get some legs done so i think i'm just gonna video one set of each exercise um so i don't bombard you with sets on sets on sets on sets um so yeah i'll see you guys in the gym in about five minutes All right, guys, we just finished a really, really, really good leg workout. I walked away from that workout feeling good, feeling like I accomplished something. And I just quickly want to touch upon uh, a topic, and that is training intensity and if you're you know, training hard enough. And I think a lot of people think that they're training hard when in reality they're probably not. Um, most people walk out of the gym and they think they had a good workout, but very rarely did they probably take each set to you know, an intensity that they could have um, when people think that they have, you know, only one rep left, but they can probably squeeze out four or five, or they're doing three sets, but they could probably do four sets and make that last set really good quality work. And I walked out of this workout feeling good. I felt really accomplished. Uh, each set was taken to an intensity that I felt was appropriate. And then the last set on each exercise was probably pretty close, if not to failure. And my legs are, are feeling good feeling nice and full, got a good pump. They're a little jelly, but that's okay. Um, and I just want to touch on that when you're training, you need to train with a purpose, with intent, with intensity. If your goal is to better your physique and build muscle and make progress in the gym, then you need to go in there with that on your mind at all times. And you know, with, with YouTube and stuff, of course, like I'm filming stuff and getting content and that's fine because I'm still able to 
channel that intensity and focus when I need to. But if you're in there on your phone or you're in there with friends and you're chit-chatting and you know taking five minutes between sets when you should only be taking like 60 seconds, then you need to step back and say, okay, am I putting all my effort in there? And I know people that, that go to this good life that are there for hours when they could probably do the same amount of work, if not more in less time, they could probably be in there for 45 minutes to an hour. Like for myself, I love training, don't get me wrong, but I don't like to be in the gym all hours of the day. So I'm in there 45 minutes to an hour max most times, and I'm getting probably twice the work done that they are. Um, and I'm not saying that I'm better than anybody else or I'm putting more work in or, or whatever. I'm just saying that you need to go in the gym with focus, with drive, with intensity, and and get the most out of it that you can, especially if your goal is you know, improving your physique and building muscle or getting stronger or whatever it is. Just go in the gym, focused and ready to work. But anyways, guys, rant over. We're going to go get a protein shake from Body Systems and then head home for a little bit. I got to be back to work for 3.30. It is 12.30 now, so we got a couple hours to chill, let the legs recover a little bit. So I'll catch you guys in the next clip. I just want to say right now, these are the best. Enough said. Zeus. Zeus. What are you doing, buds? Oh, what a familiar spot. This is the, the chill room in the house. Right here. It's a spare bedroom. You get a nice little window right there. Get a nice breeze. It's just nice. Uh, currently, as you guys can see, just chilling. Uh, I had that shake. about finished it about 20 minutes ago. And we're going to eat a pretty good meal before I go back to work. And then we're going to my parents' house tonight for dinner. It's my grandparents' anniversary. So we're gonna go over there for dinner and then have some cake after that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be so good. Uh, fuel up after leg day, right? I earned it, I earned it. Um, so I've had like nothing crazy today. This morning I just had uh, a banana, a protein shake and a protein bar. So it was like maybe 500 calories, I think before my before I work out before I trained and then I had that protein shake after so I'm probably around like eight or nine hundred calories today so I haven't had too much now that I'm trying to build a bit my calories are up around 3,000 so I've got lots of playroom left so we're gonna have a big meal here shortly and then one more big meal tonight so I'll catch you guys uh, in a couple minutes when uh, we go eat again All right, time for food. So this is the the larger meal of the day so far. Sorry, my camera was being weird. Um, okay, so we've got six ounces of pork. We've got about 100 grams of potatoes and then a cup of broccoli. So this is going to be my bigger meal, as I mentioned. And then we're not going to eat again till we get to my parents for dinner tonight. Uh, tonight as well, we're also going to go see The Purge. The new Purge that just came out, which is technically the first Purge, but it's the fourth Purge movie. Um, sometimes I get confused why they do that. Like, why don't you just start from the top and, or like from the beginning and then just make the movies after that, but whatever. So anyways, we're going to eat this, uh, a nice big plate full of food. Uh, my legs are actually starting to get sore already, which is good, which is good. It's a good quality workout. Um, so anyways, guys, I'm going to eat this. Go back to work and train a few clients, and then I'll catch you guys in a couple hours because we've got uh, we got work to do. Hey, Grams. Oh, God, don't scare me like... All right, guys, it is currently 8.52. We are about to go catch a movie. We're going to see The Purge tonight. Um, it starts at 9.40, so we're going to go pick up Carrie's brother. She's just in the house over there changing, getting uh, a little bit warmer clothes on because it's a little cooler out tonight. Um, then we're going to go pick up her brother and uh, go watch the movie. So had a good dinner with my family, caught up on some stuff, had a really good, delicious, homemade, wholesome meal. And uh, it's just nice. It was a nice, good way to end off the week and, and kick off the weekend. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the vlog. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.